Treyarch just uploaded a storyline trailer about the return of Ether and DLC 3. And I is this is what is is this 2019? I don't know what's happening right now, but let's just watch this, okay? Let's just get straight to it and watch this because I know that's what you guys are here for. Let's just do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh god. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep. What is happening? Is not the pages are changing! So goes the poem. Bo Revelations? I Samantha? Understand the meaning. <laughs> is this what? I drunk so deeply that my every fiber aches oh. with the pain of what has been. Oh, the, the glory days. The glory days. And the pain oh. of what has yet to come. That was the ultimate picture of Richtofen coming to the house. There's the picture we saw on Twitter. What the hell is going on? Is that a broken arrow? Bro, I love this art style, man. Oh, the land! Sorry. Oh, my boy. Wars. Peter. Souls. Oh! All torn asunder by the journeys our madness has wrought. Bro. It is only Ooh. now, now, Ooh. that I understand. The path of bloodshed and sacrifice that lays ahead. What is going on? And how such knowledge must have gnawed and clawed at the German's mind. My pity. What is happening? From this day on, it is my burden to bear. Oh my god! I know what must be done. And who must do it? Oh my god! May they all have mercy on my soul. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! I feel like I should be freaking out more, but I don't know what to say right now. I have no idea what to say! That was like that the Great War. They're showing it. Oh my God, man! I gotta, dude. That looked like something from a blockbuster. Fi like that looked like Infinity War. That looked like Mar. That looked like Endgame, dude. That that that's what that looked like right there. Holy hell! Just look at that image of all of them, bro. Oh, we're gonna have to watch this again. I, I, that's a lot. That is a lot. Oh my god, it's so old school. It kind of like made me like tear up a little bit. Like I, it's so old school and like the way that it's like it, it's kind of like the um, what is it? The the Bo Two Zombies comic intros where they like kind of move a little bit. Uh, where they're like they're like comic book, but like they they move a little bit. I love it. They're, those are some of my favorite intros. Let's watch it again. Three, two, one, go. Those are some of my favorite intros and seeing all the, all the characters. A little learning is a little learning. A dangerous thing. He's talking about drink deep or taste not the Pyrian spring. So he's saying like uh, it, so learning goes the poem. learning so much is is affecting him. From the Kenorium. Understand. Bro, what is she doing? When has she ever had that ability? I have drunk. She just so killed one. That my every fiber aches. Bro. With the pain of what has been. And the pain of what has yet to come. I fear it may drive me insane. I'm guessing that's Broken Arrow, because they teased Broken Arrow today on Twitter. And that's where the map is, I guess. Dude, my boy is back! I'm so happy! Oh, 
Shit. Wars. Wars. Souls. Souls. All torn asunder by the journeys our madness has wrought. It is only now, now, that I understand the path of bloodshed and sacrifice that lays ahead. And how such knowledge must have gnawed and clawed at the German's mind. I pity him. Oh my god! From this day on, it is my burden to bear. I know what must be done, and who must do it. May they all have mercy on my soul. Okay, hi, Future JC here. I didn't have enough time to edit the video back when the trailer happened today, but I'm here again in the late, late, late afternoon talking about it because there is so much on my mind and so much I had to say, but I got interrupted and unfortunately had to go. But basically, this trailer, bro, can we just have a moment? Just really quickly. Zombies is back! Thank you. I just wanted to say that. For real though, I don't know how Treyarch always does this, but every time there's ever been a low period in the zombies community or a, a just a downward slope, it, it just has this sort of roller coaster effect where things happen that just gets everybody excited again. And this has definitely been the longest downward slope on that roller coaster that we've had in a while. We haven't seen anything about Ether in eight months. I think it's been around eight months since Black Ops 4 came out, which was the last time we had Classified and Blood of the Dead launching. And we haven't had any Ether related stuff since then. It has been really just far too long seeing anything related to the story, but coming into it now, after we've been in such a drought on Ether, and, and seeing this trailer and, and just seeing the, the comic book style, like I'm a huge OG fan of all the comic book loading screens and everything and seeing all the characters, seeing Misty, Misty is looking like she is about to cry in this trailer. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what, what I don't even know what characters we're playing as in this map, Alpha Omega. I forgot to mention that's the new map coming. I guess it's a Nuketown remake, but with more stuff in it. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore chat i really don't this looked like an all-out great war thing but maybe this is more teasing the ending like in terms of dlc 4 than dlc 3 i i don't know but from just looking at this trailer i've had a lot of time over the course of the day to really just delve deep and think about a lot of stuff that's happening it definitely looks like that facility is like broken arrow or something along, along the lines of that which i i said in my reaction but the thing that really caught my attention um, the thing that really, really caught my attention is the fact that they show Monty in this trailer in true Apothecon form, just like the Shadow Man. They have Monty in the back behind all the keepers with all of his tentacle-like face, just like the Shadow Man has shown us in Black Ops 3. And this is confirmed to me a theory that I've had for so freaking long. It was so badass seeing this in the trailer. I didn't realize it on my first watch. I've said it forever on this channel. There, there's some evidence, someone please find evidence somewhere on an old things people say or something where I've talked about the fact that Monty and Shadow Man, my theory was that they were born from the same entity. They were originally both one person, one God, one being, whatever you want to call it, and they split in two and fractured. And you have Shadow Man and Monty, and the Shadow Man is quite literally the shadow of Dr. Monty, and that's why he's called the Shadow Man. I've been saying that that is the thing forever, that they are one of the same, they're two sides of the same coin. There was a quote back in Revelations, I think it was Revelations, talking about where Monty starts talking about splitting a worm in half and then he stops talking about it and he's like, why did I even talk about that? I don't really know what I was meaning with that. But it was obviously hinting at something like this and I'm just like, ah! 
They, they showed it in the trailer. I, so I, I don't know if that means like we'll get some weird, weird demonic version of Monty in the finale of the Ether storyline. I have no idea, but I'm really hoping for something like that. Like this is so freaking epic and exciting and we better have the great war in some capacity, Treyarch. Please, please, please make it happen. We're seeing it on screen here. We're seeing it, but I want to see this in a map. I want to see the great war happen and I want to use the original stabs, dude. Like this, it's, oh, it's been way too long since I could get excited about this. Why has it been so long? Why? I've been, I feel like I've been just like thrown away, just thrown away in the wind for months and months and months and months. And now we're finally back and I feel like it is like is the renaissance happening like is it, it are we are we back boys i don't know but this was just a really good trailer the whoever the artists were who drew all of the 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 concept art in this trailer that they used it showed all the moving pieces everybody who made this trailer you guys are amazing it was absolutely incredible i love seeing different artistic directions with trailers and and the fact that you could just like, you know, obviously with the budget, probably they couldn't show all this in one huge trailer, but with something like this, with this sort of comic book style, they can show so much and pack so much in there. And it's just like, bro, like I, oh man, like Samantha's back. Like that's the thing, right? So even Samantha's back. Like we have Samantha back for the end of the finale. She's doing godlike Thor Ragnarok abilities at the Apothecani Cons. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I, I'm just... <sighs> <sighs> you can't, I just can't escape zombies, man. I just, <laughs> I just can't escape it. Every time I think that it's just kind of like we're in a drought, something like this happens and it gets me all fuzzy and excited again and I, I, you guys knocked it out of the park with this trailer. I'm excited. This map comes out apparently on July 9th. I'll of course be streaming the map on Twitch. If you guys don't know, I'm streaming every freaking day over on the Twitch channel. We're trying to grow an awesome community over there and I'll be doing the entire Easter egg hunt over there on launch on July 9th. So go down twitch.tv slash JC backfire. Click the link in the description just to get the notifications on over there on Twitch. We're gonna, we're gonna be having a really good time when this map comes out, I'm sure. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm kind of in awe of like what this all meant. Like Nikolai is just, he's just taken the charge, but he feels affected by all the learning that he's had. He's reminiscing on the past and where they're gonna be going in the future. Like they're really, really pushing for Nikolai being the leader. And it's, just, it's wild that we're finally getting the continuation of it. And it's weird. It's like, it shows the great war, but we also, it shows the great war against the Apothecans, but we also have to fight Dr. Monty. So I guess like the finale of this nonsense is just fighting everything. I, I don't know. I, I guess, are we against everything at the end of this? The Keepers and the Apothecans? I, I don't know. But... That's enough out of me. I, I need to have more time to to theorize about this. Once again, I apologize this reaction came out so late. I just, I, I had an appointment that I had to go to earlier in the day and uh, I literally got interrupted during the reaction. So I had to leave, I couldn't edit it in time. Um, but I'm here now and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video. It really, really helps out the channel. This has been an absolute drought and any support goes a long way, absolutely. And yeah, I <laughs> Oh man, if we could play as like all the crews, if we could just have a map, can the finale map just be like playing as every single crew, but like like through the Easter egg, you start as Primus, and then you start, then you like halfway through the Easter egg, you switch to Ultimus, and then halfway through the Easter egg, you switch to Victus, and it just changes. Can we just, can we do something like that? Like that's just, that's like my dream. I don't know. I'm just seeing all the characters in this trailer, just like, it, it's, it's the finale, man. I, I'm, I still don't believe them that this is the finale because I've heard that this is the beginning of the end about like 20 freaking times from Treyarch. So I, I don't know. I It feels finale-ish, like finally finale-ish because they're saying they want to conclude the Aether storyline. They're not doing brackets. It's a conclusion. So the end is coming, I guess, lads. And... I don't know if I'm ready for that. I This has been 10 years of my life. 
10 years of my life I've been playing this mode and enjoying where the story goes. And you guys know I'm in it more than anything else for the story. I'm not necessarily even much of a gameplay guy. I love Easter egg hunting and doing the Easter egg, but I am the story is where, where my love is for zombies. And seeing this is like a dream come true. So Treyarch, Thank you so much for the awesome trailer. I can't wait to play the map. I can't wait to see if you guys drop any more trailers um, in the coming coming days. I'm excited. I hope the community is excited. Zombies is back, lads. Let's get it trending. It's back. Let's get it moving. See you on July 9th, guys. See you there.